Okay, so the place we're at today is shrouded in dark history. So originally this house was built by two doctors who unfortunately passed away here. It got left to one of their sons. He passed away here too. It got left to a farmer. Now he hacked up his wife and put her underneath the bathtub and then screwed some fixes on shut. Eventually it was caught. This is the A559 killer axe killer because he chopped her up with an axe. So. Oh, look how dirty it is, bro. How am I supposed to put a sticker on that? Wait, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it here. Oh. Uh, no, where's? You, oh, you don't. I was a rover, the golf sticker. Yeah. Where do you want it? Yeah, go on. We'll, just, we'll stick it there. <laughs> Your there we go. There we go. I'm I'm riding in this car, so we're making it official. I want to. I just want to note. He didn't ask me permission. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not gonna ask permission. <laughs> 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 Listen to that rain. I know, it's really heavy. Man. It would bring me out when it's absolutely boring down. It was that when we set off. Yeah, it was absolutely fine, really. It'll pass. Uh, oh, it's absolutely pouring down. Get in, go, go, go. <laughs> Olivia's wrapping the merch. She stole it off Andrew. Go, go, go. Oh, this way? Yeah. Okay. There's some light for you. Uh, yeah, be careful with ground when you get stuck here. Okay. I'm not going to lie, it's just creepy. Really creepy. Oh, this is abandoned as well. Are you? Bloody holly tree. Holly bush, sorry. Well, there's no light. Okay, so when we get in here, I'm going to tell you some really, really scary, sinister history in here. That's pretty sturdy, and then there's a box. Oh wow, look at this. Who, who's he? It's one of the tenants. Oh, so he was one of the original owners? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll see a number of pictures of owners here. There's one down there as well on the floor. Ah. There's, a, there's a bike there. Oh, I know this place. This is the doctor's house. Uh, I know this place. There's some taps in here. Some tapping. Look at the old budget cage. And Obviously, when you think of tapping, you think of water, and there's no water. Well, this is the old butcher's room, the old uh, cold storage room, this. Mm -hmm. They would hang the meats and stuff from the top. The It'd be a naturally cold room. There's some photography. But yeah, there as all well. of this we looked into, this is all for photography, so obviously... But well, like there, yeah, you know, there's... Some really nice old stuff. Apparently one of the most more active rooms that we've just been in into probably probably the team that we're not down away. Oh you can't see the
What? <laughs> you boss under that Cheshire cat, what you, what's going on? Why are you both smiling at me? You just look so nervous. I am nervous. <laughs> You'll find out in a minute why I'm so nervous. Let's proceed. You got the bicycle here. That's a nice old bike. Yeah, it's been moved. <laughs> Look at that, you've even got the original um, little. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like an alternator. Mm. Gives it power for the for the light. Okay, hey, it actually reminds me of. If you're hardcore, you might remember this episode. In, in Italy, we stopped by that place and the roof was all falling down, and there were these Victorian style images on the wall really old photos now these could have been the doctors I'm gonna tell you the full story in a minute but you'll know what I'm talking about and who is this would could this be the wife that's what we're theorizing and Olivia for some reason believes he's the one who did it okay but there's uh there's plenty more upstairs as well what was that so that's someone's belly is that you Upstairs. Last time we were here, we instantly walked in. Sorry, I want to say this now. We just got in. Last time we were here, we heard footsteps upstairs. There's nobody in the house. Alright, okay. Well, let's go upstairs and just. Yes, yeah, just make sure no one's here first. Because obviously. I'll let someone lead the way first. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Reminds me of the haunted of Hill House. I honestly, most places don't put me on edge like this house does. Wow. Uh, be careful when you step in this room, there's lots of needles. There are needles down needles. in the fireplace. Okay. Surprising though, because there's no graffiti. I was about to look at that then, but... Just a little side. Oh, Here's another room, another fireplace, with another picture. He's a soldier. that are on the sides of the house, you don't think from the wind it could be, it could be. tapping on the windows. You have to find out, but that was really loud. Okay. I'm trying to think of reasonable explanations here. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's uh, it's Himalayan salt. Yeah? Yeah. What are they use for? Protection. There's a big pile of it on the floor. Yeah, protection. A spell, some sort. I just saw a red light in my room over here. Yeah. It sounds like someone's trying to pedal the bike. That's what it sounds like. I know, I know, you can be a skeptic at this, but I know for a fact I saw a shadow person when we, the first time we were here, mm -hmm. and you saw a shadow person the last time we were here. Mm -hmm. And I saw a red orb the first time we ever came. It was big. So two shadow people, one red orb. Yep. Yeah. And we've had location of shadow people stairs downstairs. Don't I saw know. one in that room behind Dan, and, and she saw, saw hers in that room right there. Right. Okay, so the place we're at today is shrouded in dark history. So originally this house was built by two doctors who unfortunately passed away here. It got left to one of their sons. He passed away here too. It got left to a farmer. Now that you can see outside when we came in, there's farm equipment everywhere. He hacked up his wife and put it underneath the bathtub. 
and then screwed some fixes on shut. Eventually it was caught. This is the A559 road. You can look it up, the A559 killer, axe killer, because he chopped her up with an axe. So what we're gonna do today, the house is beautiful, really good architecture, still some uh, period features left untouched. There's an old bike downstairs. There's paintings of all the old tenants who used to live here, black and white ones, the Victorian ones that are on the walls and stuff. We're gonna wanna take a look at all that. And then, in true Andrew fashion, he's gonna unscrew the bottom of the bathtub and see what remains under there. See if there's anything under there, blood stains or anything like that. He's gonna do a paranormal episode as well. I don't know if I'm gonna film anything. If I don't, you know where to go, Proving Demons. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a super interesting explore. Hope you enjoy it. So the only problem is, I didn't know I was coming here tonight. I didn't know the history until I got here. So I haven't had time to research it. I can do a voiceover, probably already have. But who could this woman be? We don't know, as of right now, this moment in time, I don't know the time frame of which these deaths took place. So could this have been the person who got hacked up? I don't know. It could have been the 70s, it could have been the 60s, it could have been 1901 for all I know. So it's just speculation, but it is strange that there's no mention of women living here apart from the one who got hacked up. Yet there's two different women, two different pictures. I think some uh, more research is in order. Okay, so um, obviously these guys are doing a, a ghost hunt as well and there's all kinds of equipment going on. There's EMF, there's... So, it said so. It said so. Yeah, look, it says so. You're right? kidding me. The, the it says so. The obvious, whatever it's called, the obvious, says so. And then what is here on the floor? Bro. So the obelisk literally has just said the word. Really odd. There is a very, very old saw here in this room. You guys let me know, do you, how much do you trust the obelisk? How much it said? Karen. Karen? I've never heard, I've never heard it say the name Karen before. Is this Karen? I, I mean, how accurate are those things? They have been quite accurate before. They are sometimes on point, sometimes a way off. It's the, the, the base is the stronger the bar, so the black bar underneath where it says Karen. Yeah. The, the stronger that bar, the more relevant the word is said to be. So Karen is pretty strong. Just said Karen. Next. But what it is is it's an EMF device that is being it's being made, and they, they say that the spirit is supposed to interact with that. So, uh, Entire. Entire. so just, yeah, there's no, no bar yeah. to that. Yeah, so the spirit's supposed to interact with that and took words out. Right, how, how many words does it have in its Two dictionary? 2,000 words, okay. Yeah. So for it, uh, uh, you know, there's a 2,001 chance for it to say so, and then there's, you know, the probability of there actually being a so here on the floor is, you know, it's basically a lot higher, so, I mean, that's quite convincing, I guess. It is odd, you know, so. And it did say it just after you came out of this room. Yeah, well, I record. I didn't. There was no cut, so I recorded the whole thing. So, I mean, I was lucky. Mm. Good idea. Simon's going to see if there's a date on the back. Ooh, it's moldy. Mm. It is. Anything? Does it hook on? No. It's taped on. Taped on. It's taped on. So the only way would be to actually rip it up, which we're not going to do. I wonder if, out of curiosity, turning the picture around and leaving it like that might upset the spirits. Yeah, we can try Probably. it. Probably. It's just kind of disrespectful in a weird way. I mean, I don't want to be disrespectful. No, 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 I don't want to do, but obviously. But our job is to try and get spiritual or paranormal oh. activity. What did it say? Paint. Paint. Painted, that's very strong. Look at the bar on yeah, that. The bar is full of is this an actual photograph? Is this it's a photograph, that's not a painting. No, it's not an oil painting. It's too, too, um, it's not old enough for that. Maybe, I mean, maybe photograph isn't in the dictionary. Yeah, it's not in the dictionary. I don't know what all the words are. Alright, okay. Um, 
the 2000 version there, but I mean, even in the um, instructions on how to work it, you don't get a list of what the words are. I think it's about time we go and find Wait, out. We're jumping into that already. Bro, <laughs> I think if we're trying to go some in any sense, or just, you know, for us to get any kind of activity, we want to jump into the big stuff. Have, right you, have you ever seen the film House on a Haunted Hill? What was that? It came from the bathroom. Oh, that, that general direction. Have you ever seen the, ha the film House on Haunted Hill? Basically, the, the newer one, it's, it's, obviously it's a big house on a hill that's haunted, and they, they knock for a war by accident, and it releases this, like, almighty evil. You're not afraid that you're going to release something when you open that bathtub? What, by knocking into a wall? Uh, no, but I mean by opening the bathtub where someone was hacked up and placed. That's a risk you have to take. I hope. I... That was... That, was, that, you that sounded like no. two... That wasn't that you. Was who just went... No, you, you exhale. You, who just went... No, I was listening to these footsteps. There was I this... Was I thought, I thought, I thought I you just went... No, I didn't hear that. Fuck, I weren't recording. Uh-oh. I don't think something wants you to open that bathtub. Right, well, we're going to open the bathtub whether they like it or not. See what happens as we get closer. Coming from the bathtub. If you want us, if you don't want me to open the bathtub, try to stop me. Let's just give him a bit of space. Yeah. You're gonna try and stop me? Because I'm coming. He's on his own. Return. Return. What, like turn around, return to where I came from? Maybe he knows you've returned. You, you've come back. Oh, it smells so bad in here. <coughs> right, so our idea is we want to get this panel off the bathtub without it breaking. Now it's already partially smashed by a look of Can I see anything over there? There's some stains down there, but I want to know if there's proper blood stains because the hardwood floor looks original. I mean, the bath is old. That's this right. tiling's relatively new. It looks like this. Actually, no, look behind you, tiling boxes. So I don't think. I'd say tiles are from. I don't know, I think tiles. As in the 50s. Yeah, I know, I was going to say it's period. Yeah. But then, it, yeah, it could be right. right. This could have been re literally redone after the murder. Mm -hmm. That's my theory then. Right, well, let's try and get this off without it breaking. Okay, good luck. Is there a trip to fucking air now coming on here? Yeah, we're trying to avoid that. <sighs> I mean, this is going to probably fall off. It's already all cracked and yeah, it's completely I'd go from here. It's completely broken all the way through. Oh, trade me down because I don't want to... In case it does shatter, I don't want pieces flying into my face. No, those so fly by instead. <laughs> well, you're standing. Without it all breaking as well. There you go. Good job, Simon. You did it without breaking it. Alright everyone, so... This piece our, should just slide out now. Yeah, we're getting our first looks into yeah, the bathtub. It needs to slide, the slide out this way. Um, we'll grab so it it's wedged inside it. Here, here, here. Andrew, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just wedged in. Into, into the bathtub. How the hell did he get a body onto the dirt? Body. in pieces. Body parts, bro. Well, I don't see any blood. Oh, hold on. There's some orange staining in the back. Yeah? Yeah. I can just make it out on my camera. You see it? 
What's all that? Stones of some sort. Stones? Yeah. Yeah, some kind of stones of some sort, that. You guys watching, I'm way up here, so you, you guys are the ones looking. Tell me, what do you see? Let me know in the comments right now. What are you, what are you looking at? Okay, so opening that up scares me a little bit because you never know what you're going to release in here, but you saw how small that was. He chopped her up into so many small parts, he managed to stuff her under there. And it was only weeks later, possibly even months, when the neighbours smelt it that they uncovered what horrors happened here. So last time I got a lot of comments about the radio. Now the radio is a form of spirit box. A spirit box essentially is a radio. It skips through faster. But I want to ask a Simon's point of view. What's your uh, point of view on the radio compared to an actual spirit box? Um, you mean the PSB7 spirit box? Yeah, like a, an actual one that you buy that literally is labelled a ghost spirit box. I, I I I don't rate them then. I okay. prefer must prefer these. Really? Yeah, you you get uh, a lot better and a lot clearer response. I know people say yeah, it's just radio and it's getting through radio. Yeah. Uh, but when you've got a PSB seven, which is just a white noise um, spirit box, it's a lot harder to um, to pick up on the the words that are coming out. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you think these are legitimate? What when we hear responses? We've had we've had a lot of legitimate responses to questions that we've asked when we've done spirit box sessions with obviously radios, whether they're manual tune radios or whether they're auto scan radios. Um, so I'd I'd much prefer to use one of these. Okay. Would, yeah. That's interesting. We get a lot of comments about it, and a lot of people say you know get a real spirit box, but this is what works. This is what we, I mean. I've seen this come out with with genuine responses but it's always interesting because i want to i don't know whether to believe or not is it coincidence is it not but this is what i like documenting it's good fun yeah. i mean I, there's no right or wrong yeah exactly no. yeah it's all you know theory at the end of days paranormal research you know i mean does a k to actually pick up on emf in the spirit thank you andrew for, for breaking that mm. you know I was seeing if it would work while you were talking about it. Yeah, I mean that's the K2. Picks up on the electromagnetic frequency. Sorry, obviously putting it near the torch. Actually, I was going to put it near the bathtub. But I want to, I want to get a, let's see if we can get a reading. So if we put that near it. Not pick up on a torch. All right, or okay. On mobile phone. So if you've got your mobile phone, um, not on flight mode, on normal. So obviously. When you get like a text, not a text, uh, like a, a an alert, yeah. yeah. Okay. Kind of, oh wow, look at that. Yeah. So it does pick up on EMF, that is a fact. Mm -hmm. But the theory comes on whether or not spirits are made of uh, Electro electromagnetic yeah. radiation. It's just a theory. It's interesting. So yeah, everyone stop hating on the radio. The radio works for Andrew, leave it alone. You know, this is how most horror, horror stories start. Yeah. It was a dark, stormy night. Oh, what are we doing here? Right, so we're heading back downstairs now. I want to get more of a look at these paintings and stuff, these pictures, and this bike. Where are you guys going? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go in this room here. You want that room? Yeah, we'll go and take this, this room. A yeah, good room. So again, when we look at these paintings, I think these two were the doctors. I mean, they look like doctors. So these two would have been the ones who died, and that could have been one of the... Because these are Victorian, aren't there? has got to be a date somewhere on these. There's got to be a date. These have to be Industrial Revolution 19... Between 1880 and 1910, surely. Look at these as well, what's this? wetting agent and that's the second budget cage I've seen as well here 
Oh, ever since watching Silent Hill, which cages freaked me out. There's got to be. I'm surprised there's no date on these though, people. Maybe between 1890 to 1930, maybe. No, 30s way too. Look, I mean, look at her attire. Definitely not that that new. That's like and picture quality as well. That's definitely that's like older, 1890. Okay, let's be fair. That's older than the 20s. That could have been the 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 her, mother or one of the mothers. You know. Yeah, I'd say. Because these ones are newer than that. I'll be honest, it's the same sort of photographs you got in Wild West days, which was in the yeah. 1850s. Well, they've got the same sort of eyes. They've got both got the, like, oh, they, hooded. They look related, at least some of them. I mean... That's a full bottle, that, as well, whatever it is. I don't want to know what that is. It's a beer of some sort. Let's see if we can turn one of these around and see if there's a date on it. Yeah. Um, one of these has to have a date on. Uh, I'm trying to just stand there. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, that's not a date on it. Hoping that one does the end one. Mm -hmm. oh, looks like someone's tried to open it. Someone's tried to open it. So theoretically, no, there's no date there. No. Surprising. It's normally back on on the back of the actual painting or drawing. You'd have to dismantle the frame. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Seventy-three is this one. So this murder, this it must have happened in the seventies, because looking at the all the decoration and stuff, this hasn't been decorated in fifty years. No, I'm wondering why there's modern stuff from well, well, why what? there's stuff from the seventies here, but you have like the stuff from like the eighteen hundreds here. Well, obviously this this house must have been kept in either family or family and friends circle. Yeah. So the stuff would never have been taken out. So the two doctors that had it handed it to the son. Mm -hmm. When they died. And then when the son passed away passed here. Passed away, who did he hand it to? A farmer. farmer. He, he, he gave it to a farmer in his will. Mm -hmm. Right. And then he was the one who apparently hacked up. So this is the A559. Mm -hmm. The A559 axe murderer. Guys, if you want to know more, go and search it up. See what you can find out. Drop some comments. Oh, look at that. There's another one here. I didn't even see that before. I don't think so anyway. That looks the same time period as the lady that's in there. That must have been one of the, the doctor's parents. Must have been. Look, this one's at the same period as the woman that's in there. Hmm. Oh, there might be a date on that one. That looks newer. Yeah, it does. Look, Andrew. That painting up there is the same period as the lady in the other room. Yep. So that must have been the parents of someone. Of that, well, obviously the parents no, of someone. But your torch, Andrew. Sure. Yes. And I think that's actually the same guy as one of the other guys in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's... It's the same photo, actually, I think. Oh, is it the same photo? It might not be, but it's definitely the same guy in the middle. Scary stuff. So this is the main door. You can't see it, but it's got some amazing stained glass around the whole door. But this is really smart. I'll take a bit of better look at this. This is probably 70s. I think it works though. Yeah, yeah, I don't see why not. I think it does work. Well, you've got flat tires, so bear, bear that in mind there is flat tires. So don't put too much pressure on the rims. Oh yeah, it works. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I shouldn't ride it. I feel like it's gonna break. Yeah, I just, I, yeah, probably wouldn't. Probably wouldn't. And then we're back to this room with the budget cage hanging up there. Obviously, would have been used for meat at one point. Those hooks up there. My pet, my pet is a rabbit, which has seven 
young ones that are five brown. Someone's talking about the rabbit here. What's interesting um, is the last time we were here, um, we'd been into this room but we'd not seen the paperwork on the side. Uh, we were upstairs, the ovulus um, said the word rabbit, which then later on we found out that there's notes about rabbits. And also while we were upstairs you said that you could feel uh, something to do with Morse code. Yeah, tapping in the walls. Tapping in the walls, like Morse okay. code. Ta -ta -ta -ta. And then down here, there is, or there was, the Morse code. Morse code. Interesting. I don't know how comfortable I feel with Olivia holding those knives. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Obviously, I've dropped, tried to drop as much history as I can. But if you find anything out that I didn't, please drop it in the comments below. Remember, the A559 Axe Murderer. You'll find it. Well, well that's it. We're leaving the Axe Murderer's house. I mean, the actual legitimate, legitimate Axe Murderer's house. You see it on YouTube most of the time. You know, Axe Murderer's house, and it's a load of crap. This is legit. You can go and research it. Here, I'm have a quick look in the barn. See what's here. There's another one there. There's a lot of equipment on here. of it. Scary looking house.